Sometimes after a marriage falls apart and a man and a woman think six months later, seven months later, eight months later, and they think, what was that? I left her for that. Subhanallah, shaitan must have, must have really got a grip on my soul. Or the woman who regrets afterwards asking for the divorce from her husband. And in most cases, it is the women who pursue divorce more than men. And that is proven through experience. And through published literature. Women seek divorce and pursue divorce more than men. Alhamdulillah, as Sheikh Muqbil said. Rahimahullah ta'ala, Sheikh Muqbil, he said, Alhamdulillah, Allah did not place divorce into the hands of women because they divorce their husbands dozens of times a day. So the, the power of divorce is in the hands of men. But the ones who pursue it most are the women. They see things from their husbands that displease them. And they cannot tolerate it. Or they can't remain patient. So they demand to be divorced. And afterwards, a year later, two years later, maybe even weeks later, they regret. Much of their displeasure is because they compare their lives with their husbands to the lives of other couples and other families. So she starts to think that her existence with this man is miserable. She is convinced by the apparent lifestyles of other women, even if those women are sinful, irreligious and unbelievers. The woman will see those women as being better off. Her, soul's be her soul, her nafs begins to rebel. She watches social media, looks at magazines and compares how she is living to how they are living. And she comes, to her, the she comes to the conclusion that her husband is worthless, unworthy of her. And that the grass on the other side is greener, meaning that life without him will be better and happier. But seldom is that the case. Seldom is that the case. And the amount of regret that we see in women who demand the divorce from their husbands and then regret afterwards. They're not happier afterwards. Their lifestyle doesn't improve afterwards. They carry their children into other marriages and the new husband is not interested in your children. Then the children go off the rails. How does she start? She looks at the examples of others and she begins to mistreat him, deny him his marital rights. She stops serving him or she serves him less. She is no longer kind to him, gentle to him and loving towards him. She looks for excuses to find faults with him until she demands a divorce because he's not earning enough. Or because she, she believes that she's left in the home to look after the children and she needs free time to go out. Or she has some unfulfilled ambitions of a career. Eventually they divorce. So before it reaches these critical stages, ask for help, for advice. Someone to judge between you. Someone who can hold you and say what you're doing is wrong. Take you by your hand and say, think again. Fear Allah. 